Hey guys, it's Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolf X here. And I don't know what you're thinking. I usually don't do videos on this channel in my basement. Well, I needed a lot of space for this one. Um, it wouldn't even fit on my desk. I kid you not. This is the big one. Um, I got my box from Hobby Wave today. And I'm actually going to have to pan down. And um, although all of the kits but this one were for Christmas, I did get one kit. The 1-260th scale Strike Gundam Striker Weapon System. Now, I am the opposite of Vegeta8259 in saying that my favorite part of Seed, and the reason Seed is my favorite Gundam series of all time, is because of the... Um, different backpacks and them doing different things. I really hope you can hear me. Um, I noticed that I am a little further away from the mic, so it may be hard. But if it is, please just turn up your volume and I'll give you a second to turn it back down when I get closer. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna get a little closer now, so turn your volume a few, no a few notches down. That'll be good. Let's unbox it. Okay. Um, wow, this is a big box. This is the single biggest Gundam box I've ever had. Oh my god. Oh, and another thing that I ordered that I was already set to receive upon it arriving. The Gundam Seed decals. So yeah, these include, oh no, these are water slides. Oh well. I could do that. I could do water slide. I'm not going to go overboard with it, but Oh, you know what's hilarious? They show this little leg here for reference. I can actually tell you whose leg that is. That's the ashtray blue frame. I know because those little orange parts are the knife mounts. Um, yeah, let's get into the parts. Because there are a lot of them. I don't even know where to begin. Is eye plate. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. There's some nice parts. So you know what? Let's re okay, you know, let's start with this one. Here. Pop this. Cannon parts. My god, I could use this I could use this cannon as a handgun. That's how long it is. Look, I could almost use this cannon, like if it had a big enough handle. That would be an impressive sized handgun. Heck, I could almost use it as a um, rifle. It's almost long enough to be used as a rifle. Yeah. That's really nice. And you could see with this one, even over the 1 to 100, that there was no expense spared to put accuracy in. And I mean, this thing is a 1 to 60 at scale, so you're you're expecting pretty darn good accuracy. Oh yeah, now... Ooh, that's nice. Okay, just in case you didn't believe me about the accuracy, these these little gray parts, these go on the insides of the vents for the ale pack, I believe. Yeah. Or the thrusters, sorry. Yeah, that's awesome. That really is. Wow. Okay. On to this plate, which includes one of my favorite aspects of this whole system. The sword. Which is a bit, I guess, a bit underwhelming, almost? I don't know. Oh, wow. Ale striker parts, very nice, very large, just as I would expect. I, I, I can't say that I would use those for anything, that they would be life-size to me in any way, because 
I don't have thrusters on my back, so. Or at least I haven't come out with that little secret that I'm a government super project or some crap like that. No, that failed, so I'm just going to try not to humiliate, humiliate myself further. Okay, but anyway. Sword parts. This sword, although not as long as I thought it was going to be originally, oh no, it doesn't even have the handle, so it's still an, it's an impressive sword. I think I could probably use it as a dagger. I don't know. Holy son of a muffin. We have 1 to 60 at scale beam sabers. These are longer than my hand. These are longer than my hand. This could be like Wolverine's claws for me. Then we have more parts. Oh, look, the blue on the shield for the sword pack, the blue on the shoulder plate is actually in there. The only decals you have are scopes and um, the eyes. So that should fill you with some confidence if you were debating whether to get this because you were afraid the colors weren't going to be accurate. Here's the red for the various packs and possibly for the strike. Nope, just for the various packs. Sorry. Here is the red for the strike himself. Yeah, because I do believe the strike was available standalone at some point. I don't know. I don't, I'm not totally sure about that. I probably shouldn't say that. Oh, look, giant. Oh. This is a per Okay. No, I'm ripping this pack open. Purpose made polycap tree. Now you guys may be thinking, so what? It, it's a bunch of polycaps. I'm gonna go into this first. Gun um, parts for the shield and the gun. Two pieces for the uh, shoulder shield. Here, this part, the shoulder shield. Two pieces for that. Very nice. Um, purpose made polycap tree. Now some of you guys may be thinking, so what? Um. So what? First off, you've got polycap joints for the guns. Those are very unlikely to wear down. And this piece right here, this little marvel. If you don't know what that is, that's the attachment for the um, beam boomerang for the sword pack. Hopefully, now hopefully, that will make it stay in much better. If it doesn't... I'm going to be a little bummed, but I have a 1 to 60 at scale to strike. I have nothing to be bummed about. Oh, okay. These beam sabers are giving me serious, um, serious, oh my god, I'm trying to think, who am I thinking of? They're really reminding me of the... Double Zeta. Yeah, that's the one. Double Zeta. Now, I'm actually going to clip one of these off of the tree. Okay, so, yeah, this part you do get sword parts, ale parts, beam sabers. So, nothing that would not come with the strike standard. Now, the beam sabers did on the original, on the 1 to 100th, I will admit. But that was because... The original was the Ale Strike, and they decided to include them as a little bonus weapon. A lot of the white for the strike. The standalone white that has to be different. These are the parts that can be duplicated. Another purpose built polycap tree, I believe. This one may not be purpose built. I can't see any parts that are super obviously specific. Parts for the cockpit. I believe we have an opening cockpit, so do we have a Kiriyamata? I don't care if we do, I, I, I never paint those anyway. Shoulder parts. Leg parts, mostly. And finally, at the bottom of the box, the instruction manual. Now this thing is a hardcover novel, almost. Um, yeah, we've got belly. 
all the way to kin. And are the armored Schneiders two different colors? I have no idea where they are, so I'm just going to leave those be. Um, yeah, I'll get into the detailing on the parts, like the stuff. I do believe the armored Schneiders actually open up instead of being on solid piece. I want to find those now. Because those aren't armored Schneiders. You are not an armored Schneider. You are not an armored Schneider. Is there an armored Schneider on this plate? Here's Kiri Yamato. Still really tiny for for the size. Any armored Schneider parts? Nope. Now, I do not believe that they would be on the plates for the Gundam. For the, um, like, parts... For the packs, because I do believe that there was some release of just the strike. I don't know though. Ah, yes, they do open. I found the blades, which is a great thing. Oh my god. This is something that they really did not have to put in, and I almost wish they didn't. Um, knuckle joints in the fingers. This is the only, um, I love this, but I hate it as well. <coughs> when you upscale, you get finger articulation. You can see he's got knuckle joints for each of his hands. The finger articulation comes off awesome in one sense, but then you also get into the tragic side of things and the fact that stuff doesn't like to stay together, which is also why the beam sabers have a very obvious hole. I gotta check to make sure nothing goes into that hole. Let's see. Beam saber, beam saber, beam saber. There we are. Ah, yes, something does. See, aren't we glad I checked that? Now, I have a few more minutes, so I'm just gonna cut out one beam saber. There. And they also did a pretty good job with hiding the places, the cut marks on this guy. They're very well hidden. Sorry. I hate how it does that so soon. Now, okay. Probably some really good modelers out there going, what the heck are you doing? It's a freaking beam saber. It's not the, it's not the head of the kit. I put a lot more care into those parts, trust me. This I'm just doing, trying to get it done quickly. Okay. You go through there. You peg down into there. There, like that. Yes. And that allows us to have a foot peg. Wait. It does? It does, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that's going to be a pain in the butt to get out sometime. Oh hey, I see. Ah yes, there we go. That is the way we want to do this instead. Okay, I'm, I'm an idiot. Wait, let's see, does this have any suggestion? Okay, so... Wait, 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 one minute, ah yes, so now let us close this thing, take the these two sides together, and there we have our little ball joint piece that allows us to have them stored but then have that peg, okay the head of the beam saber, now for the blade. And this is where these things turn into basically kunai knives for me. I, I could use these things as some serious kunai. Or, didn't even have to be kunai. I could almost, like, shank somebody with one of these. 
If this thing was legit, I could cause some damage with these, whereas the smaller ones, I would really have to use them as kunai if I wanted to do anything with them. They're not even long enough to, like, basically create a mortal wound on somebody. I, I could still annoy them for a month, but I couldn't kill them with uh, 1 to 100. Yeah. Now that's impressive. Yeah, that that is a dagger for me. Like, I could hold this just by the thing. Or I could be Harry Potter. Or Harry Pothead, as I like to call him. Yeah, not not a big fan of those books. Sorry for any people who I just pissed off. But anyway, yeah. Now think about it. Think about that, and then think about Harry Potter. Trust me, you will you will see. Like it's a book about magic. What book about magic can you not say that they're that they are um, high in? Now, sorry if I froze up again. Hope my voice still went through that. Because I can't refilm this. But anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I apparently have more than 15 minutes on this one, too, so apparently it's not special. Okay, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. This has been Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolf Axia. And give me the money! <laughs> I am such a weirdo. No, okay. No, don't actually give me money. That would, that would be bad. Don't give me the money! I'm still waving this threateningly. You know, here's what I should do. I should be like, try to open things with this from now on. Just like, ah! Minecraft style. I will open this bag. It's getting there. This bag must be made of diamond. Yes. Okay, enough of that joke. I'm not going to do a time-lapse joke like Family Guy is famous for. Like their famous um, Peter Griffin when he falls down and hurts himself. Ah! Ah! And like 15 minutes of that. Yeah. I don't like those time-lapse jokes. I don't know. But I'm... I feel like I'm high with, like, I feel like I'm high right now for some reason. I know what the reason is. It's that I'm like, okay, I must be high because there's no way that this is actually happening. And, yeah. It is. So, yeah. I'll see you guys at the next review. This has been Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolfexia. And, by the way, just in case you guys are wondering, my goal for tonight is the mobile suit. I want to get the mobile suit done. So yeah, I'll see you guys. Hopefully I will. Those fingers may prove to be difficult though. So, oh wait, one other thing I want to check. Let's see. Do they give you the plate numbers, the plate letters that you need? They do not. Oh, well that's kind of rude. Okay. Well, Still, this is an awesome kit. Um, Hobby Wave, I believe, they had it in stock not too long ago, like a week ago, so check with them now. You should be able to find it. Um, it's a ton of parts. It's, it's going to be a ton of fun to build. I'll see you guys. Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolf X here. I'll see you guys at the next review.